This time last year, the delegates at the GCC Egypt Investment Conference were witnessing oil plummet from its record summer highs before bottoming out at just over $30 a barrel. The global economic crisis had just begun, and some analysts were talking about a prolonged period of low oil prices. Others, such as Egypt's Minister of Investment, were more sanguine. I was predicting that the price of oil is not going to be an average uh, lower than $50 a barrel. And even uh, with that uh, very low price of $50, there is going to be a surplus of loanable and investable uh, funds and opportunities. According to the minister, even at a relatively low price of around $50, the GCC will still accumulate some $5 trillion by 2020. The drop in price did, however, reinforce the region's decision to diversify its economic base, both at home and abroad. A decision that's benefited developments like the multi-billion dollar GCC-funded Cairo Festival City. Uh, there is no... the, the opportunities of investing in, uh, in the Gulf now are limited. So investments are actually moved towards uh, Egypt, which makes uh, this project uh, accelerate. And that investment is important to Egypt. The GCC now accounts for the country's largest percentage of FDI, up from 4.6% in 2005 to 25% in 2007. One reason is the wide range of investment opportunities. One important, I think, uh, uh, feature of our economy is that it is diverse. You can work in oil and gas, you can work in tourism, you can work in industry, you can work in agriculture, in services, in banking, in IT. Abdul Rahim Hassan Naki is the Secretary General of the GCC's Chambers of Commerce. We are now discovering for the new uh, opportunity, especially in the infrastructure in Egypt, uh, the second one for the agriculture, and also we are uh, trying to, with the Egypt for the investing for the small and medium enterprises. Another factor that attracts the GCC is Egypt's domestic market of some 80 million people. And while it's true the majority of those still live in poverty, there is an increasing middle class. Mark Khalifi runs, among other franchises, the coffee chain Casper and Gambini's. The spending power of the middle class is increasing. So it's people who won't come, uh, you know, maybe two, three times a week, but they'll come maybe once a week or, or twice a month. Uh, whereas before, you know, you, you, you wouldn't be able to tap into that potential. Egypt's location, as well as the Suez Canal, also play an important role. Mohamed Klebi is Senior Vice President of the Savola Group, Saudi Arabia's largest food business. Egypt has an excellent uh, location. It has an access to the Mediterranean CSC where you can go easily to Europe. It has also an access to the Red Sea. So you can go to Africa, you can go to Europe, you can go to Far East. There are already healthy trade links between the GCC and Egypt. Bilateral trade currently accounts for 10% of the country's total trade volumes. And according to the country's Minister of Trade, new agreements are in the pipeline. Uh, we have already uh, now uh, approached the GCC to uh, establish uh, a customs union between Egypt and the GCC. Uh, this is uh, under consideration at the moment. And while growth next year in most of the Gulf is expected to be stagnant, the Egyptian economy is still expected to grow at over 4.5%. Um, they are clearly going to be looking for a market like Egypt because of the size of the market, because of the growth. The result is, according to Egypt's finance minister, increasing interest from GCC investors. Investors are coming back, they're beginning to sort of poke around. We have seen some spending, so it is coming back. Savola is just one example. We are today putting a new investment of around $400 million over the coming three years to expand our sugar industry and to have full integration from the farming till the productivity for the market. The chairman of one of Egypt's largest investment banks believes the relationship will only strengthen over time. I think it's going to keep growing and growing and growing. Uh, the GCC has excess liquidity. Uh, Egypt has the market, has the labour force uh, and the critical mass. It's expected that the Gulf will continue its strategy of economic diversification and external investment. If that's the case, then Egypt should expect the GCC to play an increasingly significant role in its economy.